Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and today's video is a midterms vlog and I also created a website. The site is called grangerproductivity.wixsite.com So I hope you can check it out and I hope you like this video. So guys, it's currently 5.47 and it's the 29th of August. I just got up and now I'll be changing and getting ready for school. Hey guys, um, it's currently almost 1 minute till 5 o'clock and I just got home from school. So now I'll be taking a bath. So it's currently 5.39 and I just finished having a bath. So now I'm going to review for my unit test. So they changed the unit test schedule. Tomorrow I'll just be having my math and English midterms or unit test. And on Friday I'll be having my science, Filipina, and AP midterms. Good luck with me. Okay guys, it's 9-11 and I just finished eating dinner so now I will continue reviewing for my math. Good morning guys, it's 5.44 and today is currently um, the 30th of August so I'm just gonna go change and prepare for school. Guys, it's currently 1.06 and I just got back home. So I'm gonna talk you through my test. So I got I did my math midterm and my English midterm. For my math midterm, I was able the I found the problem solving really easy, but the multiple choice was not that easy because there was no time left. I had to end up guessing about five to ten numbers because I was already panicking. Well, for our English, our English is mostly on essays, so. My hand is really tired from it, but I found English to be one to be easier than math, and it's more interesting because the essay questions is more on your own interpretation and opinion. So, like, there's no right and wrong answer; you just have to justify your stand. So, um, now I'm just going to go have some lunch, and I'll have to be studying for my science, Filipino, and my AP midterm. It's 2.07 and I just finished eating. So um, now I'll be going to have a quick shower. It is 2.40 and I just finished taking a shower. Now I'll be reviewing for my science midterm.
so it's currently 4.38 and I just finished doing part of my review for my science midterms tomorrow so I'll just be taking a break then I'll be going back to science so it's currently 5.56 and I just got back and I'm now refreshed so I will continue reviewing for my science and then I will review for my AP and I've just finished reviewing for science. Now I'll be reviewing for AP. just have dinner first before continuing to review for my AP. It's 8.30 and I just got back from dinner so I'll be continuing reviewing for my AP. It's currently 6.15 and I just got back home due to extracurriculars. So I will tell you how my test went today. Um, our first test today was Filipino and I find it not hard or not easy. I found the vocabulary words to be challenging. But I also found the essay like pretty open-minded so I think I was able to put my thoughts there correctly. Um, for AP, um, it really w it went better than I expected because I thought my teacher would put in all the details but he only gave some details that are really obvious but for the hard ones, he didn't put that much. And then for the science, I've got to say science is the hardest of all. Um, when I got the paper, I just immediately scanned the questions and when I was reading it I was I started to panic so like I 
I couldn't answer anything for like 10 minutes, which is a waste of time, until I started answering from the back. Then I couldn't answer one simple easy question from there, and we had 5 minutes left, so I I think what I did is I overcomplicated the problem because when I tried answering it again, 2 minutes before the time is up, I got an answer we, that me and my classmates are all the same. And then for the science essay, it was also really hard. So I'm really scared for the result of that. And speaking of results, I've got my math result back. Um, I'm happy and at the same time disappointed because happy that um, I got at least the target grade. My target grade is around 80 to 90 because the math was a little bit hard. So I got around a 45 out of 55 which is an 81 but I'm disappointed at the same time because one fourth of my mistakes there were just super careless like I for I added instead of subtracted or I just multiplied something wrong so that w there were like three questions and they were worth around four points so I could I, I told myself I could have gotten a higher grade but nonetheless I'm happy because a lot of people got really low scores or they almost failed and there were just like some who got around 80 something and like there were like only one or two people who got above nine guys this is filmed five days after my midterms so i actually received my results of midterms today and i've got to say that all those hard work that i did in long nights where i just wanted to sleep um they actually paid off so i'll be telling you my scores um my first one is my math i got 45 out of 55 which is an 81 which is one of the lowest though I was expecting to fail because I just guessed 10 numbers and out of those 10 numbers that I guessed 8 of them were just correct and like those were the lucky guesses it's just the other part the other multiple choice where I really used my brain that's the part where it went wrong it's either i was when i panicked during that time i read it wrong or i forgot to answer some questions either way i'm still happy even though it's not one of the i'm not one of the highest as long as i got around an 81 because my goal for that midterm of math since i know it will be really difficult to be around an 80 and i've surpassed that um for my science I was really, really, really happy because never in my whole life did was I one of the highest person in my class to get such a high grade. So I got a 45 out of 50 which is a 90 on my science test. I was, I really panicked that day if you've seen the Friday after friday the last video um i really panicked because i couldn't answer a single question and i just answered almost everything in the last 20 minutes because i was like my brain was out so to see a 45 out of 50 mark that was i was really happy and the and when i saw my mistakes at science i i was also a bit annoyed because i didn't trust my guts um one of the answers that cost two points um my first answer was correct but then i changed my answer at the last minute i changed it and that was pretty annoying because my head was telling me maybe it's this maybe it's this but either way i'm happy with the 90. um for my english i also got a 45 out of 50 which is a 90 which is also one of the highest in my Class, our highest was around a 97, and somewhere between that, those were the highest. Um, for my English, I was, I was also a bit annoyed because I didn't read one part that said sight lines, and that cost three points. So, if I cited some lines from my from 
the paragraph on my essay, I could have gotten a plus three, which is a forty-eight, which is also which is like our top two, top three highest. But like my other mistakes also came from the vocabulary and some grammatical errors. Um, for my AP, I got um a forty-seven out of fifty, which I was. Was I the highest? No, I was the second highest, and I basically got wrong at the true or the modified true or false questions because they were really challenging. And um, our Filipino, we haven't gotten our Filipino result back because since it was really long essays, like ten sentences, we had to do that around three times. Um, our teacher basically said that we'll receive the result in one month. So either way, this first half of the school year, I'm no not first half of the quarter of the school year. So my grades were pretty much the lowest. Boundary was around an eight eighty six. If I calculated my math midterms with my other math tests, so it's pretty much an eighty six level, which is where I wanted to be. So when I have my quarter exams, I would want my grade to be around, for math, I want it to be around a 90, science maybe a 92, but the English, Filipino, and AP, I'm expecting it around a 95 if I do well. So yeah, that's just an update.